Okay, I want to talk about something that's really pissing me off about Android. And that's this lack of a fucking backup solution for your apps and data. All you want to back up is some apps and data so you don't have to download it again and so you don't lose your save files or anything else like that. So, unfortunately, Android doesn't really fucking have that. Um, and some solutions require that you have root access. And a lot of times I normally do have root access, but with some recent uh, updates to Android, um, well, <laughs> I, I really have kind of stayed without rooting because I kind of don't need too much with root access. I don't need much. This phone that I'm speaking into here, that I'm talking and speaking whatever the fuck, it has root access because I wanted uh, some things like... Uh, I wanted this Dolby Atmos mod that I have for my music because I listen to music on here and I like the sound coming from these audio mods. So that's the only real reason I actually rooted my phone. So now, with more recent updates, uh, it's become increasingly hard for me to back up applications and data. I've not been able to use any solutions such as, um, well, on my Shield tablet, I have the SD card, and I have the uh, internal storage, the, um, what the fuck is it called? Adopted storage. So I used to use um, Titanium Backup, and that doesn't work. The app developer seems to have not updated the app in a hundred fucking years or whatever. And it requires root access. So if I don't have root access, it doesn't matter. I can do anything I want, but no root access, you can go fuck yourself. So then I go to try to use Helium Backup because it says it will back up my apps and data. I go to try to back up the applications because I want to do a factory reset on my Shield tablet. It's right now I'm... <laughs> I'm having trouble. It's not backing up. I tried to back up once. It crashed during the backup process. Now I'm trying to back up again, and it looks like it's taking for fucking ever. Now, uh, I'm, I don't know. I guess I'm giving it some time because I think it may be because the data files that I'm, I'm backing up are huge or something. So I was going to go out after making this video and just do a few things. But uh, we have these... You know, we have here, Helium Backup. And this gets, we, t we talk about this a lot. The people talk about this app a lot. Uh, you can give it root access. Like I said, on my phone, I have root access. I don't have root access on my Shield tablet. Um, really don't always need it. But the thing is, if you're on iOS, it's so fucking easy to back up and restore. It's just the easiest fucking thing. Google thought, I guess it was a great idea to implement a new backup system to back up your applications. They figured out that they should uh, you force Google Drive down your throat again. You know, they, they like to force their fucking applications down your fucking throat. So they, they implemented Google Drive into their quote-unquote, if you want to fucking call it backup solution, backup solution. And basically, how it works is you turn on the sync option, and if the fucking developer actually feels like su supporting their backup solution, well, according to what Google said was that it's required that the developer uh, implements their backup solution into their application unless they don't fucking feel like it. <laughs> Which is interesting. Why would you bother even saying the first part? And they're like, well... Why? Why wouldn't they want to to implement this this feature? I'll tell you why. Because they don't fucking feel like it. That's why. And it's obvious that that's true. Because when you look up, when you look at the apps that have been backed up, when you dig into the fucking settings of Google Drive, because you have to dig really deep to find the applications, data, and all the stuff that has been backed up, it's all bullshit. 
There's like five applications that I have that are backed up, and they're all fucking apps I don't give a fuck about having them backed up. They're just... I have like system applications that I don't give a shit about. It's like five fucking crappy little bullshit system applications that I never care to have backed up or restored. And this, this, uh, this feature that they've quote-unquote added, which they basically deteriorated their own backup solution this way, they made it worse. It's been there for quite some time now, but nobody really, not only does nobody really fucking know about it, but it's so fucking hard to find, and it's not like an, an, you know, something that's system-wide, and, you know, Google's like, oh, well, you can, uh, you know, you have to implement it. Unless you just don't fucking feel like it. So what the fuck? Why? <laughs> Backing up Android devices has become this big headache where I want to jump out the fucking window and die. Every app, every solution is like something you have to pay for. And when you pay for it, you find out it doesn't even fucking work, and it's a piece of shit, and you just want to throw it at the fucking window. I hate Android backup and restore with a fucking passion. It's such a fucking simple thing, and you can't fucking do it. It's impossible. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. It can't be done. It's a simple thing. I, you know, I have one iPad that I got for free. And I, when I turned it on, a backup from an old iPad I had from years ago just like said, "Oh, do you want to install this uh, apps, these apps and data and everything?" Everything restored, like it was just, like I had just, you know, found that that old iPad, and, and it just was there. Everything was good to go. Not Android, no, 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 no. If you try to back up and restore an Android device. That's on Marshmallow, I think even Lollipop. You're going to probably want to slam your fucking face down onto a stove and turn the fucking burner on and burn your fucking skin off until it looks like leather. Android backup and restore sucks dick. Thank you for watching.